Heading north to Volusia County within the past 45 minutes, emergency management gave an update on their response to the tropical storm. News 6's Troy Campbell listened in, Dean, listened in on that meeting. He's live in Daytona Beach now. Troy. Well, guys, as you can see here behind me, there is a good group of people enjoying the beach day out here. But when we just heard from Volusia County officials, they say now is the time for not just these people, but everyone else in the county to be getting all of those last minute supplies to make sure that they are prepared. They are expecting the storm to hit at about this time tomorrow. Now, Volusia County also says that Angie's is going to be uh, more of a wind event um, with only a couple of inches of rain near the coast. Now, emergency management forecasts um, a one to three foot storm surge. They're also issuing a voluntary evacuation order in some of those lower lying areas areas um, in the barrier islands. Now, emergency shelters at several schools throughout the county, they are set to open tomorrow at 8 a.m. Officials urge people to head out west of the county if they can. And now, like I say, is the time. So you, you need to be calling Uncle Fred or your friends or whoever live farther inland and, uh, and visit those folks or possibly uh, book a hotel. Now, Beach Safety also says that they do not want anyone in the water here. You can see they are out here. They say if you do go in the water, at least swim near a lifeguard. They do have um, the red flag out here. Coming up a little later at 7 o'clock, we'll explain how the county officials say the precautions that they are taking in order to prevent COVID-19 from spreading inside of any of these emergency shelters. Live in Daytona Beach, Troy Campbell, getting results, News 6.